General here, Big Red, and I'm here for another episode of the Ghetto Gourmet. But this is going to be more or less like a product review, much like the one you've seen a few days ago. But here we go again. It's that time of year again, and it's time for some monster cereal. Oh crap, this one's almost empty. I have to reach up in here and get this out. We are gonna go down with some booberry. So there we go. Tonight we're doing the booberry. Let me get a bowl. Go ahead and crack this open. Let's go get the other one that's almost empty. This one, see, this one's almost empty. We got the, the box over there. We got to cut off the box top. Get all that blueberry dust in there, all that sugary goodness. Let me top it off with and then see this one is I believe it's got the same back as the other one. Yeah, from the seven ghost with the guest on it. Just like the other one, except for it's blueberry. Put this back in the old cupboard. Nobody calls it a cupboard anymore. It's always a pantry or food closet. Why doesn't nobody use the word cupboard anymore? Let's get some old fashioned moo juice in here. A big old helping of moo juice. Get a food shovel so I can shovel this down my pie hole. Let's get you guys up in, up in here, up in here, up in here. I'm going to lose my goddamn mind up in here, up in here. Goddamn, I forgot to put on the light in the other room. So let's walk in the dark. Today is, let's see, today's Saturday the, no, today is Thursday the, 12th. So that means tomorrow is Friday the 13th. So we could tell spooky ghost stories. Rup, ro, raggy. Roast roars. I think this is the table. Yep, that is the table. All right, so we got that down there. Let me see if I can't reach up over here so y'all don't get all spooky scared. You don't want to get all spooky scared. Ah! All right, so. Let's get down with some of this monster cereal here. See, look, I'm multi-talented. I can see in the dark. I, uh, from like 1994, maybe, to 2000, I worked in a haunted house. I might tell you that story one day. Uh, the, the, they're on their 25th year right now. 
Let's see. Uh, let's find something on the old telly. I don't want to watch the news because it's all bad news. Prostitutes, pimps, and possible trafficking victims picked up in an undercover sting. How nice. See, the news is always bad news. Never any good news. Sort of like my life. If it wasn't for bad luck or shitty luck, I'd have no luck at all. All right, let's see if we can't find something on the old telly here worth watching on demand because uh, there ain't nothing on TV at 10.30 at night. <clears throat> Unless you want to watch late night TV, which is all crap. How about some Sanford and Son? I think that's what we're going to roll with, some Sanford and Son. What episode? I've been binge-watching Sanford and Son. Bounce it, go, wow, now. Bow, now, down, now, bow. Wow, 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 wow. Let's see, which one am I on? Lamont and Rallo become managers of all girl. Nope, I saw that one. Astrology, let's see. When the neighbor's pet goat gets stolen, saw that one. Lamont goes into business with Julio, saw that one. Fred is thrilled with his new pool table, saw that one. Donates his blues records, I saw that one. He inherits 1,500 bones. So that's the one we're going to watch. Let's pause it so we can uh, go ahead and get our grub on. I'll let it get to the title screen there and then we'll... Alright, so we got our monster cereal. I usually have only ghost marshmallows, but they got ghosts and vampire bats. I noticed that the other day. Mm -hmm. This just brings back memories. So many good memories. Between Sanford and Son and Ghost Cereal, Monster Cereal. Brings me back to a better time. I remember watching Sanford and Son with my mom. In reruns. And then I used to watch it late night. When I was young, before cable. Let me pause it. Before cable, we had three channels. I remember this used to come on syndication late at night after the news at 10.30. And then Night Court. Or was it Night Court first and then San Francisco? Either way, one came on first and then the other one back to back. I haven't seen Night Court in a long time. But I've been binge-watching Sanford and some. I'm up to episode 48 right now. Out of 100 and something. So yeah, when I watch that, I remember watching them with my mom. I mean, that TV series is as old, if not older than me. I think I might have been one years old when it first came out. So I don't remember that. But it ran for... Probably seven, eight seasons. So by the time I was like seven, eight years old, I remember watching it. And then watching all the reruns. Late night. Because I could never go to bed without watching San Francisco Night Court. And I'll put it on to eat dinner and go to bed. So... Life makes a big complete circle. And then got these monster cereal. 
you can have these as a kid too. My grandma rarely brought, rarely, rarely bought me junk cereal. But when she did, I always wanted blueberry and frankenberry. And fruit brute and yummy mummy. Y'all remember those two? I'm gonna have to look up and see when those got discontinued. I know they brought back both of them a couple of years ago. I was surprised. I wish they would do these year round though. My favorite two junk cereals. I mean, it doesn't even feel like fall, other than the fact of the monster cereals out, because today it was like 90 degrees outside. Ridiculous. I remember as a kid, this time of year, you was putting on at least a sweater or a light jacket. And that's in the South. And I got my air conditioner on right now. So damn hot. Man, this is some good cereal. Mm. Mm -mm. Makes me wish I was like 10 years old again. Some good monster cereal and cartoons. Or some good TV. Because they don't make good TV like they used to. Or at least not sitcoms. The sitcoms these days suck. They haven't made a good sitcom since probably maybe the late 80s. Married with Children was pretty good. Then they had that Married with Children ripoff. That was pretty good. With Bobcat Goldthwait doing the voice of the rabbit. Or the teddy bear, whatever it was. And then after that, I don't think I watched any sitcoms. All dramas or action shows. Although, last year they had a TV show. Surprised they got away with most of what they got away with. Superior Donuts. That was funny as hell. And then I do like Big Bang Theory. Other than that, there's not many sitcoms I get down with. And just a few more spoonfuls of these little ghosts. And we put that good mood juice to, to the mountain down the hatch. Hmm. General Mills, please start putting this out year round. Although, the expiration date on these series is almost a year long. So, if you're lucky to stock up right at the end of the Halloween season, if they still got some on your grocery shelves. Stock up. Look at the date. It's almost a year long. It'll get you through the year, and that's what me and my son usually do. Uh. Ooh. All right, so we got all this mood juice left. That ain't going to waste. <sighs> and then we got the... The milk 
film remnants. Look at all that milk that I just scraped just off the remnants. Man, that is some good stuff, I tell you, boy. I tell you. Anyway, let's rate this since it is a product review. General Mills, for your blueberry monster cereal, I am going to have to give you four. Four flip flops. I don't like blueberry as much as I used to. I used to like it equally with the, the Frankenberry, but for some reason, Frankenberry still tastes like Frankenberry. Blueberry, not so much like what I remember as a kid. So, yeah, you're only going to get a four flip flops. So, with that, I mean, that's not bad. I only rate one through five. So, I mean, hey, be happy with four flip flops. You get what you get and you don't throw a fit. Unless you start putting this out year round, then we might have to talk, yo. Anyway, over here is a subscription bell. Not a subscription button, click that. Notification bell will let you know when I have new content. So become part of the Big Red Food Army. Or just the Big Red Army, you know what I'm saying? Because I do stuff other than food, but mostly food. Then over here, thumbs up, thumbs down. Bow, bow, bow. Hit me with one. It doesn't matter which. It just lets me know that you're watching. I like these better. And then... On top of that, let's see, we got a description box down below with descriptions of this video with links to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. So follow me on the socials, then hit that link to this channel's homepage where you can find all the older content separated by series. Make life easier for you, because watching this two-ton tubby ginger eat on YouTube shouldn't make life any harder. So I got everything separated by categories or series, as I like to call it. And if they're not all on the front page, hit that playlist button when you get to the home page, and they'll all be in there, I promise you. Mm. Uh, with that being said, there's also a link to my friend's T-shirt website where you can find your Big Red Show T-shirts and the Dark Side of Red T-shirts. You know, you, you scoop up one of them, you get some cool threads, some cool duds, and I get a little scratch. You know what I'm saying? And while you're there, check out my friend's t-shirts just as a thank you for him putting my shirts up on his website. You know, that's what he does for a living. He, he designs t-shirts and he goes to conventions and he's got a uh, the website and he's got a storefront and all of that goodness. But his big thing is like... Whatever's trendy, you know, uh, comic book related, uh, what else he does? Comic books, uh, anime, video games, pop culture type things. You know, Geek is the new chic, so check it out. Anyway, there's also uh, my PayPal account. If you want to sponsor a video, you want me to eat a certain product and review it for you, before you do, uh, you know, hey, you could, uh, look, you could pay me to eat it. It's all good. If you just want to help get this channel uh, better equipment, you could hit that PayPal thing. Ain't no shame to the game. But know that you don't have to, but if you want to, that's what it's there for. Also, uh, let's see. There's a comment section down below. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you eat Monster Cereal. Let me know if you've never eaten Monster Cereal. Let me know if you'd like to eat Monster Cereal. Who knows? And if so, which Monster Cereal do you like the best? Leave it down there in the comments. Type me one out. I'll type you one back. Show me yours and I'll show you mine. And I just want to thank each and every one of you for, that watched this video. I especially want to thank all my subs. And, you know, I love my subbies a little bit more because, you know, they, they had that initiative to hit that little subscription button. So, I just need you to do me one little favor. I need you to tell your mom, tell your pa, tell your greasy, greasy grandma, share this video with your family and friends on all your socials, and uh, show them how you get down with Big Red. Maybe they'd like to get down with Big Red, hop up on the couch or down here on the floor or at the coffee table and have a bowl of monster cereal with your boy. We'll never know unless you share the video. Caring is sharing, so start caring and share the video, will you? And I just want to thank y'all all again. 
This has been Big Red for another Ghetto Gourmet product review. And I'll see you guys next time in the kitchen. Until next time, may all of your cooking be ghetto fabulous. I'm Audi.